good morning students welcome all for the part 6 and the new exercise 2.5 so let's start 2.5 already we have learned the factor theorem the remainder theorem and many questions based on that even the exercise so let's start the new exercise 2.5 here for the 2.5 we must know certain algebraic identities some common identities i have presented here that is first one a plus b whole square as a square plus b square plus 2ab similarly a minus b whole square equals to a square plus b square minus 2a similarly if we'll go with the third one a square minus b square we know that it's a plus b into a minus b and the last one is x plus a into x plus b will give you x square plus a plus b into x plus ab so here are the four common identities which we have already studied in the lower classes that is great n based on this let's go with the exercise next slide here more algebraic identities what i have mentioned here that is first one x plus y whole square as if we have seen in the last slide that is a plus b whole square similarly here x plus y whole square that gives you x square plus 2xy plus y square so on we can go with the next one that is x minus y whole square will give you x square minus 2xy plus y square here many identities i have represented here based on these identities one more i'll express here x plus y plus z whole square will gives you as x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2zx similarly we have for x plus y whole cube and x minus y whole cube so on two more here x cube plus y cube x cube minus y cube based on all these identities we going to solve the sums from the next slide let's start the questions to understand briefly how we can make the use of these identities next slide so here is the first questions of exercise 2.5 let me zoom it i hope it is visible both the question the first question is all about using the identities to find out the following product the first question is this x plus 4 into x plus 10 when we look at this two bracket we find that in both the bracket the x variable in both the brackets are same but whereas the numbers after plus sign are different so here we have to look and identify which identity will be applicable in order to solve this question so let me go till more down so here the first question and to solve the first questions let's see which identity is applicable here so it is something like this it is x plus a into x plus b in both the bracket as i said x is same similar whereas a and b value both are different so we can go with the identity x square plus a plus b into x plus a into b so same way here x square plus a plus b a plus b means here 4 is equals to a 10 is equals to b so we will keep the value of 4 and 10 into the bracket and then we have x along with it plus a into b means again 4 into 10 so further on simplification we get x square plus 14x plus 40 i hope i have made you understand so here the second question is the third question is there so again let go with one more example x plus a 8 into x minus 10 similarly same way 
in both the packet x is similar whereas the value of a and p are different in first bracket it is plus 8 in second bracket the value of b is minus 10 so we'll get go with the same identity x plus a into x plus b whose expression is x square plus a plus b into x plus a into b so keeping that in mind we'll express the whole given question into x square plus a plus b here the value of a is 8 and the b is minus 10 so we'll keep that two values in the bracket along with it into x plus a into b so a is equals to 8 into b is equals to minus 10 therefore a 8 into minus 10 so further simplification will give you x square minus 2x minus 80 i hope you have understood now i want you to go with the third question as homework so let me go with the next slide if you have a doubt you can even have the solution for the third question here itself you can go through but i expecting not to copy first of all you go through according to identities and if you don't know then you can go and choose the question number three same it here here the new question that is evaluate the following products without multiplying identities so here the three questions are there the first two questions i will make you understand on the slide and the third one is as homework so let's go with the th first one 103 into 107 that is 103 into 107 so again we will applicable identities here that is first question 103 into 107 we can make it right into as 100 plus 3 bracket into 100 plus 7 into another bracket so here two bracket is form by bifurcating the value 103 and 107 so we have made these two numbers into a form of a bracket now when we look at both the bracket clearly we find that in both the bracket the value 100 is same so we will consider this 100 as x and the value 3 and 7 considered as a and b so as if we had done in the previous slide using the formula x plus a plus x plus b will give you x square plus a plus b into x plus a plus b same way we'll keep the value of x equals to 100 and a b will be as 3 and 7 on by further simplification we get 100 square as 10,000 plus 3 plus 7 will give you 10 10 into 100 will be equals to 1000 plus 3 into 7 equals to 21 so some sum of all these three number is equals to 1 1 0 2 1 so here the first question is i have made you understand and the second question is 95 into 96 further if i'll make you bifurcate this question as 100 minus 5 bracket 100 minus 4 so again when we look at both this bracket 100 is equals to x and minus 5 and minus 4 is equals to a and b so we'll keep this value in the formula this is x plus a into x plus b will give you x square plus a plus b into x plus a into b so let's keep the value of x and a b here so value of x is equals to 100 as it is similar in both the bracket and the value of a b is a value is minus 5 and b value is minus 4 so let's keep the value 100 square plus into bracket minus 5 minus 4 into 100 plus minus 5 into minus 4 on further simplification we get 100 square equals to 10,000 plus minus 5 minus 4 is equals to minus 9 minus 9 into 100 will give you minus 900 plus minus 5 into minus 4 will give you plus 20 5 4s are 20 but we know as minus into minus is plus therefore it will be plus 20 so for the simplification of all these raw will give you 9120 as a final answer so i have made you two question understand here question number one and two and here i had given you the homework that is 104 into 90
six. This is as homework. So if you don't know this one, you can ask me while we will back to school after the quarantine period. So let me go with the next slide. I hope I am making you understand all these questions well. Here the third question that is all about factorize the following using the appropriate identities. The first question 9x square plus 6xy plus y square and the second one is 4y square minus 4y plus 1. So let's start with the first question that is 9x square plus 6xy plus y square. Let's understand what is this first question tells us. 9x square plus 6xy plus y square. When you look at this question carefully, you will find that the first term and the last term is the perfect square terms. So 9x square that can be written as 3x square, whereas y square can be written as y whole square. So first and last term is the perfect square. So let's see the identity what I have mentioned here in the bracket. Be very vigilant about this that the expression of a square plus 2ab plus b square can be written as a plus b whole square. So here a square it is first term and the last term b square both are perfect square and in, and in between these two both first and last perfect square we have 2ab. So we are going to represent this term 3x square first term and the last term y square in between them we are going to express as 2ab. So here is 2 as it is into what is the value of a that is 3x what is the value of b that is y so we will represent as 2 into 3x into y so this whole expression can be written as as i say it here a square plus 2ab plus b square equals to a plus b whole square so we will write this expression 3x square plus 2 into 3x into y that is equals to 2ab plus last term that is y square which is equals to b square so this can be expressed as 3x plus y whole square that is equals to a plus b whole square i hope i have made understand similarly if we look at the second question 4y square minus 4y plus 1 again the first term 